Hello people, uh, today we are going to learn about financial accounting. So let's get started. Uh, before uh, we start on actual financial accounting, let's learn about how, what kind of businesses are there in this world. So first kind of business is called proprietary. A business owned by one person is generally a proprietorship or owner's equity. The advantage of this is ease in organizing, low cost of organizing. The disadvantage is limited source of financial resources and unlimited liability. The second kind is a business owned by two or more persons associated as partners in partnership, partners equity. The advantages is more financial resources than proprietorship, additional management skills. The disadvantage is unlimited liability. The third kind is a business organized as a separate legal entity under the corporation law and having ownership divided into transferable shares is called a corporation, shareholders equity. The advantage is ability to obtain large amount of resources by issuing stocks and disadvantage is double taxation. Business strategies. A business strategy is an integrated set of plans and actions designed to enable the business to gain an advantage over its competitors and in doing so to maximize its profits. Two kinds of strategy, low cost, uh, cost strategy and differential strategy. In case of low cost strategy, a business designs and produces products or services of acceptable quality at a lower uh, than that of its competitors. And the well known example is Walmart. Differential strategy is a business designs and produces products or services that possess unique attributes or characteristic uh, which customers are willing to pay a premium price. An example is Apple. Stakeholders. Stakeholders or a business stakeholder is a person or entity having an interest in economic performance of the business. There are two kinds of stakeholders, internal stakeholder and external stakeholder. Internal stakeholders are owners, managers and employees. External stakeholders are customers, creditors and government. Um, there is a term called accounting information system. It's the process of providing information to the stakeholders. So the process is first we need to do is identify who all are the stakeholders. Now, and next is assess their needs. Then is design accounting information system as per their needs. Fourth is record economic data about business activities and events. And fifth and the final thing is prepare accounting reports for the stakeholders. Uh, this is the beginning of financial accounting, how we actually use the financial accounting in the real world. So it's based on the accounting equation asset equal to liabilities plus owner is equity. The mathematical equation must be balanced. If asset is dollar three hundred, liability uh, total is two hundred, then owner's equity must, must be hundred. Three hundred asset, liability plus owner's owner's equity. Two hundred is liability and hundred is, is owner's equity. So two hundred plus hundred is three hundred, which is equal to asset. So the, this is very important equation, and at any point of time, this balance should be there in the organization's uh, financial accounting. What are assets? Assets are tangible or intangible items of which uh, uh, items of value which the business owns. For example, cash, cars, building, machinery, furniture, or money owned from customers are all called assets. Liabilities. Liabilities are those items which are owned by business to bodies outside of the business. Examples of liabilities are loans to bank, creditors, money owned to suppliers, bank overdrafts. Owner's equity. Owners claim on total assets referred to as residual equity, capital, uh, drawing, etc. Proprietorship or partnership. Learning the example. Let's do an example. John opens XYZ company on the 1st of Jan 2014. John, John deposits $25,000 in bank account in the name of XYZ company. So how should the journal entry look for this kind of transaction? 
So since he uh, deposited twenty five thousand to X Y Z company, this twenty five thousand becomes asset, and the name of the asset is cash. So cash twenty five thousand. And on the other side of entry, there is asset equal to liability plus owner's equity. So there, as of now, there is no liability. Only the uh, this twenty five thousand also becomes the owner's equity because the John is the owner and he deposited that amount. Let's do another example. X Y Z exchanged twenty thousand for land. Now the company you out of the twenty five thousand, a company used twenty thousand of the cash to buy land. So land is of value twenty thousand. So land again becomes assets. Value twenty thousand, and the, we have to deduct the twenty thousand cash because um, uh, he paid uh, used that amount to pay the cash. So cash be uh, uh, land becomes twenty thousand, and cash becomes minus twenty thousand. The balance becomes five thousand plus land twenty five thousand, which makes its total of twenty five thousand of asset, which is equal to. Twenty-five thousand of owner's equity. The, in this transaction, only thing which changed is the asset. Let's do another transaction. During the month, X Y Z purchased supplies for one thousand three hundred fifty dollars and agreed to pay the supplier in the future. On account, this is uh, accounts payable because it. It got it from the credit card and it didn't pay the cash upfront. So how will the journal entry look like? This is a balance from the previous uh, uh, transaction. So supplies which he got was of one thousand three hundred fifty dollars. Supplies is again an asset. So we will add plus one thousand three hundred fifty under the supplies under the um, asset. And uh, well, since it be, uh, it's a uh, it's a liability for this company because it purchased from the credit card. In future, they have to pay the credit card bill. So it comes under the accounts payable under the liability one thousand three hundred fifty. So if you add all these three from asset, uh, it must balance a liability plus equity. So it is almost same twenty five thousand plus. One thousand three hundred fifty here. This side and this side also twenty five thousand one thousand uh, plus one thousand three hundred fifty. Let's do another example. X Y Z provides services to customer, earning a fees of seven thousand five hundred and receive the amount in cash. So uh, here uh, earning is seven thousand five hundred. So earning becomes the cash asset, and uh, on the other side it becomes the equity. Owner's capital. So it both sides we add seven thousand five hundred. So again this equation is balanced. Uh, this side and liability plus equity, both are balanced. X Y Z paid the following expenses: expensive wages two thousand one hundred twenty five dollars, rent eight hundred, utilities four thousand uh, four hundred fifty, and miscellaneous two hundred seventy five. You add add all these. It becomes three thousand six hundred fifty. So since it's paying the expenses, so we have to deduct it from the cash on the asset side. And these are the expenses which comes under the uh, owners or equity uh, capital. So from the capital, we have to deduct all the amount. And at the end of the day, we'll see that the this equation still balances. Asset is equal to liability plus equity. Similarly, we can do some more examples just for practice. X Y Z paid nine fifty to creditors during the month. Uh, so what happens is cash. It pays nine fifty dollars. So on the asset side, we deduct nine fifty, and it says to the creditors. So he is paying back the a uh, credit card loan or whatever it is so it becomes the accounts payable the the amount which we in, they need to pay to the credit card company they pay it by cash so it deducts by 950 so both sides of equation they deduct it by 950 so again it's balanced at the end of this month the cost of supplies on hand is 550 dollar so 800 of the supplies were used so again here Supplies used was eight hundred uh, on on the asset side, so we deduct eight hundred on the asset side and the same on uh, equity side. 
So I hope uh, you got the idea. Let's do uh, talk about the financial statement. Uh, financial statement uh, consists of income statement, statement of owner's equity, balance sheet, statement of cash flows. What is income statement? Income statement is a summary of revenue and expenses for a specific period of time. And a statement of owner's equity is a summary of the changes in the owner's equity that have occurred during a specific period of time. Balance sheet is a list of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity as a specific uh, as of a specific date. Balance sheet is always for a specific date, whereas uh, income statement and owner's equity is uh, for a specific period of time. So it is very important to remember that. Statement of cash flow: a summary of cash receipt and disbursement uh, for a specific period of time. And statement of cash flows are of following types: cash flows from operating activities. This section reports a, a summary of cash receipt and cash payment from operations. Cash flows from investing activities. This section reports the cash transaction from the acquisition and sale of relatively permanent assets. Cash flow from financing activities is. Uh, this section reports the cash transaction related to cash investment by the owner, borrowings, uh, and cash withdrawal by the owners. Uh, this is an example of how income statement looks. Uh, so whatever we calculated in the example, I have used the same data to calculate the um, to make the income statement. So. This is fees earned. We earned seven thousand five hundred dollar. Uh, wage expense, rent expense, supplies expense, utilities, miscellaneous. All the expenses are listed here in the operating expenses. So total is the income minus the expense. So total so total ex operating expense was this. So income minus operating expense becomes the net income. This is the net income to owner's equity. This is a balance sheet. We had this much amount of cash, this much supplies, this much land. Accounts payable was it's here. It's not visible now. And owner's equity is here. So this is the, just an example of balance sheet. We'll learn about more about this in the uh, next come upcoming video. So uh, subscribe to my channel and come back for more on accounting and uh, other things. Thanks very, very much for watching.